work is being inspired by my work, but it's, uh, I, I think it's great and lovely. I really like it very much. I congratulate the people that did it, really. I've been working with crude oil for 60 years. I've been working with crude oil. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Excuse me. So, my project is very multi layered. There's a lot going on. There's like uh, just the way that, in the same way that there's so many different objects mm -hmm. manipulating each other. They're reflecting the way that the many different subject matters are intermingling together, so it'll be hard for me to be brief. <laughs> but uh, this project is a, a part of a very large like umbrella project that right. I've been focusing on during my graduate work um, that identifies the relationships and explores the different ways that um, humans tend to interact with non-human objects, specifically right. those that are mechanical right. and the right. way that they're, they well, are that, alive. That's very clear. Very clear. Yeah. Especially in the the Western world that ha does right. have like the most control over the, these types of mechanical objects, or at least in their the history of their development, has had a, a big impact on how they've developed um, for, the, for the rest of the world. So I, it's always from a Western lens that I'm looking, um, where I basically have come to identify something that seems obvious when I say it, but it took me a while to, to, mm -hmm. to work out the, the way that there is a polarizing, um, dualistic relationship that often places machines in a position of either service or of domination that I feel is really reflective of a culturally constructed gendered yeah. relationship to these as if they are right. humans right. because they do perform so much um, activity and power and they affect our lives in so many different ways so um, my big project overall is uh, that I'm writing a thesis on that it's my direct graduate work is focusing on is called gendered machines and this project is something like a chapter in the thesis where I'm addressing um, directly addressing the role of power and accountability and communication and transmission. So basically when someone is put in or has been select or selected to be in a position where they're in control of something very powerful that's at a great distance from them and where the role of accountability lies when that's the case. And, um, I think that this applies directly to objects of domination, those that have all been derived from from this, these moments in history that I'm referencing, like the, the 20s when there were these, like, <coughs> Robert Goddard was the father of modern rocketry. His work has led us to uh, the space age and beyond, where we are in this age of um, space travel and intergalactic domination, and, as, and but also in warfare, <laughs> missile launching is precisely the same technology. So that very, the like ultimate dominant power that is a phallic power, right. and so I believe that this metaphor or this gesture of placing the viewer as a person in a position that's monitoring these like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. large huge machines that are dominating the universe is applies directly to that as a situation that maybe will help them address those that are more day to day when the people are who is in power who has mm -hmm. the power to impact many lives, especially those who have this all built on. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. I love what you say. I love your work more than everything else, but I have to say. Yes. Yes.